Captain Sunita L. Williams is a luminary in U.S. naval aviation history. In addition to piloting more than 30 different aircraft and logging over 3,000 hours as a naval aviator, Williams joined the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, as an astronaut on two missions to the International Space Station, ISS. Logging a cumulative 322 days in space with 50 hours 40 minutes in recorded spacewalk time, Williams is second on the U.S. endurance list for women astronauts and second on the list for total spacewalk time among women. Sunita Williams was born September 19, 1965, in Euclid, Ohio, to parents of Indian and Slovenian descent. Within a year, her family moved to Needham, Massachusetts, where she attended school until completing high school in 1983. After high school, she attended the U.S. Naval Academy and graduated in 1987 with a Bachelor of Science in Physical Science. Williams also earned a Master of Science in Engineering Management in 1995 from the Florida Institute of Technology. Commissioned as an ensign in 1987, Sunita Williams first served with the Naval Coastal Systems Command. She then reported to Naval Aviation Training Command, where she completed aviation training and received her wings in July 1989. After additional training, Williams was assigned to Helicopter Combat Support Squadron 8 in Norfolk. From Norfolk, Williams deployed to the Mediterranean, Red Sea, and Persian Gulf in support of Operation Desert Shield and Operation Provide Comfort, the latter mission providing military assistance and humanitarian aid to the Kurdish peoples of northern Iraq in the aftermath of the Gulf War. In 1992, Williams served as officer in charge of an H-46 Sea Knight detachment aboard USS Sylvania, AFS-2, during relief efforts following Hurricane Andrew. Williams then attended the U.S. Naval Test Pilot School at Naval Air Station Patuxent River in Maryland. After completing the course, she was assigned to the Rotary Wing Aircraft Test Directorate as a chase pilot for flights of the V-22 Osprey. While serving in this role, Williams performed the duties of Squadron Safety Officer, undertaking test flights of numerous aircraft, including the SH-60 Seahawk and the AH-1 Whiskey Super Cobra. Williams returned to the Naval Test Pilot School in 1995 as an instructor and safety officer. During her time as instructor, she piloted the UH-60 Blackhawk, OH-6 Cayuse, and the OH-58 Kiowa. Williams then returned to Norfolk to join the crew of USS Saipan, LHA-2, as aircraft handler and assistant air boss. In June 1998, NASA selected Williams to train as an astronaut. After completing a training and evaluation period, Williams worked with the Russian Space Agency in Moscow assisting International Space Station operations and subsequently with the robotics branch for operations of the station's robotic arm equipment. Williams's first mission to space came in 2006 when she was part of the crew of STS-116 aboard the shuttle Discovery. During this time, Williams served as flight engineer. She completed four spacewalks totaling 29 hours 17 minutes, then a world record for women astronauts. Astronaut Peggy Whitson soon broke this record in 2008. Another milestone came when Williams became the first person to run a marathon in space, which coincided with the Boston Marathon in Massachusetts. Williams and the rest of the crew returned to Edwards Air Force Base, California in June 2007. Williams made a second journey to ISS in support of Expedition 3233, when in July 2012 she launched with the crew of Soyuz TMA-05M once again serving as flight engineer. During the second mission, Williams became ISS commander and she retook the record for spacewalk time among women astronauts when she brought her total to 50 hours, 40 minutes. This record was once again soon broken by astronaut Peggy Whitson. Williams performed another athletic feat when she became the first person to complete a triathlon in space, coinciding with the Nautica Malibu Triathlon held in Southern California. This mission ended on November 18, 2012, when Williams and her crew touched down in Kazakhstan. In a June 2017 ceremony aboard USS Constitution in Boston, Massachusetts, Captain Sunita Williams retired from the Navy, having twice been awarded the Defense Superior Service Medal, the Legion of Merit, Humanitarian Service Medal, and many other accolades. In recognition of her career and achievements, Needham, Massachusetts dedicated Sunita L. Williams Elementary School in October 2019. Williams continues to work for NASA and is assigned to participate in the first crewed operational mission of Boeing's CST-100 Starliner to the ISS, currently planned for late 2021.